Hey guys, welcome to 1800 Pocket PC Windows Phone News Roundup. Today, on the 3rd of October, these are the headlines. So, yet another Nokia Siri marketing material pops up on the interwebs, and today it is from T Mobile Germany where they have a small poster about the device and a few feature specifications as well. It doesn't mention anything new, it's only the stuff we have seen before. So the Google Translation is just saying that there will be drive safely to a destination with Nokia including 3D representation and voice navigation. Then it mentions Windows Phone 7.5 Mango operating system on the device and the reference to the screen resolution and screen size actually which is 3.7 AMOLED curved display. A few users have got their HTC Titan device and one user on XDA developer claims that the device might be suffering from the grip of death issue which the iPhone 4 had. So basically when he holds the device in a particular way it drops signal. So we are not really sure if this is something common on the device or it's just an isolated incident. And there were other users who were not happy with the battery life as well. So we'll post a reference to that forum here and if you guys have used the HTC Titan, please do share the comments below. One of our readers tipped us to a Windows Phone Mango Nokia Maps app, so he has linked to a zap file as well. And I haven't tested the zap file myself, so I'm not really sure what is contained in that. But a few screenshots has popped up on XDA developers, which claims to be the Nokia Maps application. and. It looks like a simple metro app and we are not sure if this will be available on all devices or it will just be limited to Nokia devices at this stage. And the maps, I'm not really sure if it's using Bing Maps or another mapping system. And does anyone have any thoughts on this? We'd like to hear from you. Hey guys, today we are going to check out how to install the Compass app on the Windows Phone Mango devices. So we are not sure if this will work on all devices but we are going to try it on the Samsung Omnia. And for that first you need to get the Diagnostics app. If you have the old version of the Diagnostics app you might need to reinstall it. So for that type in hash hash 634 hash. And it should bring up the field test menu and once that comes up you gotta press in star hash zero star hash and now you can select compass in here and you will get the built-in compass so once you get the app up and running you might need to calibrate it and I'm not really sure if this works, but you can try doing a figure eight in the air, and that is set to calibrate the app. So you go, and as you can see that has jumped up. And if you move around, you'll see that the needle kind of stays in the same position. And So I'm not really sure if this is pointing to the right direction because my sense of direction is not all that great. So do let us know and if you have a magnetic compass or something lying around, do test it and let us know what you guys think. And that is all the time that we have today and we'll see you guys tomorrow.